Badgers appear relaxed, confident. Washington, momentum can be elusive. How else can you explain Wisconsin's listless defensive effort in an 83-73 loss at Ohio State on February 23rd? Remember that loss came four days after the Badgers snapped a two-game losing streak by rallying to defeat visiting Maryland by 11 points. Can second-seeded UW, 23-8, parlay its victory over Minnesota in the regular season finale into a title run at the Big Ten tournament? No one can be certain what will happen when UW faces number 10 Indiana, 18-14 in the quarterfinals at 5.30 p.m. Friday at the Verizon Center. UW swept Indiana, winning by 7 in Bloomington and by 5 in Madison, but the Hoosiers are a desperate team, likely needing to win the title to secure an NCAA berth. What is clear in the wake of the Badgers' 66-49 victory over the Gophers, who had won eight consecutive games, is that the pressure of failing has been lifted from the shoulders of Greg Gard's players. It is good to get that confidence back in all of us, senior guard Zach Schoelker said. Going forward into tournament play, that's what we need. Hopefully, we can build on that. Last season UW snapped a three-game losing streak with an emotional home victory over Michigan State on January 17. That came after an ugly road loss to Northwestern left UW at 1-3 in the Big Ten and was the first of seven consecutive victories. UW's victory over Minnesota came three days after an ugly home loss to Iowa, a game in which UW blew a nine-point lead in the final three minutes 39 seconds and suffered its fifth loss in six games. UW seniors Nigel Hayes and Showalter, the two players who spoke with reporters after that loss, appeared stunned. When UW's four seniors, Hayes, Showalter, Vito Brown and Bronson Koenig, met with reporters after the victory over Minnesota, the body language and mood were completely different. I thought we had more fun this game than we've had in a long time, said Koenig, who scored all 17 of his points in the second half. I didn't think we let anything get to us, turning the ball over, missing shots. Two images that illustrate Koenig's point remain vibrant and both involve Brown. Brown entered the day shooting 25.4% from three-point range in Big Ten play. He had made three of his previous 13 three-point attempts and missed his first two attempts against the Gophers. After taking a kick out from Ethan Happ and draining a three-pointer to pull UW within 2019 late in the first half, Brown was beaming as he went back on defense. It did feel good, he said. Ethan kicked it out to me and I heard him say, come on, V. I had to knock it down. I couldn't let him down. Then in the second half, Brown set a pick for Koenig, rolled hard to the basket received the pass and slammed the ball home for a 13-point UW lead. The sight of the mild-mannered Brown bellowing and exhorting his teammates to keep pushing was striking. Brown's line, 5 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 block and 1 steal, was a critical part of the victory. He was active, guard said. He smiled. He was having fun. He was enjoying it. That's what we talked about. Relax and go play. I thought he did a pretty good job on the glass. He ran the floor in transition. He was just really engaged. UW's energy on defense was the constant against Minnesota. The Badgers shot just 38.7% in the first half before warming to 50% in the second half, including 80% from three-point range, 8 of 10. The free throw shooting. 6 of 16, remained problematic. But UW held Minnesota to 32.1% shooting, including 23.3% in the second half, and 27.1 points below its season scoring average in league play. We were pretty good for most of the game, Guard said. The second half I thought we were terrific at times. The togetherness, the grittiness, that was us. That was us. That was as good as we've been in a long time. Perhaps most important, UW played its best overall game in weeks. The pressure of losing and answering questions about the losses, 
UW went 3-4 in February, was gone. It shows how good of a team we are, Hayes said. We lost damn near every game in February and still finished second. We must be doing something right. So when we play well, play together and do what we're supposed to do, we feel like we can be really good.